After receiving overwhelming reviews from everyone about his game, Spearguts was filled with motivation and ready for a new quest. Trying to think it kinda works. It kinda works. Well, actually, no, this works perfectly. Let's go hug some people. I kinda wish you could actually choose between skins after a certain point. <gasps> Right after adopting Pav Pavlov, Ho Ho Hold Boy kept filling his heart with a love of missing cats. Unfortunately, he also filled his throat with hairballs and eventually choked to death in his bed. <laughs> oh, are we still Hold Boy? I was kind of hoping I'd be the cat. Every cat in the kingdom cried for the loss of Ho Ho Hold Boy. Pavlov sweared to take over his will and prepared for a new adventure. <gasps> am I Palov? I am Palov. Okay. <laughs> There's just cats everywhere. <laughs> I See, I do kind of wish you could just stay as Palov for a while. Okay. Well, this is not going to go great for me. We got Mr. Hugs. Wait, I told you you can't pass. Ignore that heroic music and step down here. Ow. Wait, question. Hug the minion. Those shiny eyes, those tiny feet. These minions were too cute for Palov to resist. Unfortunately, they severely damaged him on contact, so it wasn't the best idea to give one a hug. Allergic to cuteness. Palov spent weeks in bed recovering from the brutal allergy re reaction. But those minions were so cute, it was totally worth it. Okay, I think I'm gonna go grab a s grab the sword. Hug the king ne king next. Okay, fine. We'll go hug the king. Okay. I do really wish you could like pick and choose what your skin was for this game, though. That'd be lovely. Okay, we could also go hug the old man. How many people can you hug in this game? There's probably a decent chunk of endings for hugs. Nope, doesn't look like it can uh, hug the corpse. Palov jumped into the arms of the king and gave him an epic kiss. Everyone in the room felt awkward and unsure of what to do. They slowly started to walk away and give the monarch some privacy. King of Hearts. I feel like this should have like some kind of meta progression system that every time you get one of these you get some kind of like weird perk. But like some of them are a little weird. <laughs> Apollo was now the queen of the realm, but that didn't mean he could abandon his good old hero job. <laughs> Wait. This is confusing. <laughs> <laughs> There's a new portrait. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> I know we gotta go hug the demon lord or something in a later date. Anyway, let's go hug an old man first. I'm not sure how a cat got converted into a person. This is actually kind of concerning now that I'm thinking about it. Effectively, 
the cat and or the dog. Oh, there was a bird up there. Anyway, hugging the old man. Queen Palov listened to the words of the elder and finally realized what they really meant. It wasn't dangerous anymore to go alone. Sexy beard. <laughs> oh, boy. We are making our <laughs> rounds in the kingdom. Even the elder was too hot for Queen Palov. Right after dumping our hero, he left with the shopkeeper. Queen Palov found himself once again alone in his little house. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder what would happen if you rehugged the uh, the king. I don't know. Either way, gonna go grab the uh, gonna go grab the sword. Actually, we've got the bird here. Where does the bird take us? You found a hint. Flow with the water. You got chicken. Oh, hug the game dev. Okay, we can go do that in a bit. Aerial stabbings. Huh. Yeah, I'm curious of the overall usefulness of having a slow fall. I mean, my slow fall is already pretty damn slow. Oh. this can into the west in case the dragon decides to strike again, but we're out of ammo. Okay. Step over the altar to sacrifice your items. Interesting. Looks like if we can get a couple more, we might actually be able to get some goodies. Or something out of that. Alright, well, we know where the shovel is. We know where the shield is. We'll need the hookshot for this. But yeah, let's, let's fill that up. and see what we can get. What was this? This was bombs. Yeah, we might not want more than that. It looks like, yeah. Okay, so two, maybe three more. We'll see. Shuffle, shield, and... Oh, shovel, shield, and teddy. Teddy. Probably put a bomb in the cannon. I think you could put yourself in the cannon. Okay, so we can go grab the shield. Okay, it's six. Got it. Some of these actually take some doing. Not too many, but like... If you want to really hundo this game, it... It's gonna take effort. Not bad, though. Let's see. Okay, so that should be it. Let's see what this gets me. Because it would actually be kind of cool if there were, like, very mild, like, permanent upgrades. Like, plus one carrying capacity or something like that. Actually, yeah. Oh, man. This reminds me of the uh, Shigabane system from uh, Zanki Zero, honestly. What if we can 
can actually dig around here, actually. Or, like, go into the water? Maybe. Um, but in, in Zanky Zero, whenever you get killed by something, you get, like, uh, resistance against it for the future. I'd love to play a game, uh, with, like, a little bit more of, like, a mechanical complexity with that. Did I hug the chicken yet? No. I don't know if I can. We could try, though. Queen Palov finally got rid of all of his material possessions. With no consumer products, the monster of capitalism had to move on to other worlds to devour. Sustainable development. That was actually really... Uh, that one was fairly down the line. With no goods to fight for, the conflict stopped for a while. Until the shopkeeper restocked every chest in the kingdom preparing for Black Friday. Let's find out what kind of deals you can find, Queen Palov. Yeah, we haven't actually died in a while. We're actually finding, like, sort of good endings. Okay, so what am I doing? Oh, wait, no, I'm gonna go... Oh, right, 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 right. We're gonna go hug the, the developer. That's what we were going to do. Anything to do here? Oh, yes. Maybe? No. Doesn't look like it. Okay. Well, I think we can get to it. Can you hug the dragon as the princess? I don't think so. I'm trying to think of other possibilities. We're gonna go hug hug the game developer at the very least. But yeah, oh, ho hold off on um on telling me what to do just yet. Oh, I really didn't need the sort of legend, honestly. Because yeah, at some point I'll I'll I could use some advice for what to do. But currently we're still working on a lot of other things first. like hugging the shopkeeper. Queen Palov entered the shop with a disturbing look and jumped all over the table, uh, jumped over the table right next to the shopkeeper. He grabbed his neck until it s snapped. Then he established a free hug shop so he could express his complex emotions with any any customers. Wait. So Palov murdered the shopkeeper and then went back to the old man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was a little bit more violent than I thought it was. And a little sexier, too. Queen Palov was getting tired of hugging everyone and decided to make a turn in his... Turn in... Make a turn in his life. Time for a new adventure. Huh. You know, playing this... Playing these games with, like, time loops and whatnot, and alter alternate endings. I'm, um, I'm gearing up for a D&D campaign in the next couple days, which means I should probably do some more work on it. <sighs> At least mapping out the first zone and a couple other things, but, um, I've been busy with other things. But, uh, so oftentimes when I'm playing a video game, I'll, I'll say to myself, like, man, this would actually make, like, a, a great concept for, uh, for a D&D campaign. I'm not sure if I... I'm keen on this one. I I feel like my players would lose interest fast. It'd be fun, but you'd... Like, it'd be really... Oh, we should take the sword and, like, chop through all that vegetation. What's this? Three hugs. But, like, it would be kind of fun to have, like, super short, almost, like, lightning... Oh. But, yeah, super short, almost lightning round D&D &D sessions. Let's not go this way. That's the cannon. Takes us right to the demon castle. Yeah, let's go down. Uh, unfortunately, since I murdered the develop... I? Oh. It has a crown. 
I mean, I have a crown? Maybe I need a different crown. One way or another, we gotta go find someone else to hug. Or some other death to... have. Nope, can't do that one. Yeah, unfortunately we need the sword if I want to cut through that. Uh, I guess let's... Oh, I know where I can go. I'm gonna go see if I can get past everything and go hug the demon lord. I might not succeed. But like, since I'm on the path of nonviolence, I'm a little limited in what I can do. Let's see. Cannon to hug a fairy? Oh, cannon exploded violently, sending Queen Paula right into a rock. Using cannons was indeed a fast way to move around, but not the safest one. A 95% uptime guaranteed policy is not enough sometimes. Well, that's one way to do it. Two years later. Polov received millions from the cannon company, <laughs> but spent all of it on medical care and cosmetic surgery. Remember, Polov, these cannons have a 5% fail chance. Oh. I look... bedraggled or something. The amount of different character sprites here is kind of impressive. Really use that sword closer though. Okay, I know I know where to go. So we're gonna go grab the sword, and now I'm gonna go. Oh, let's see. We're gonna go grab the sword. We got the sword of legend. There's a bunch of like bushes and stuff down this way that I'm pretty sure I can cut through. Let's try that next. Yep. Okay. Well Well, I'm not sure how to get get that. Shield? Maybe? I Huh. I'm trying to think. Probably shield. Oh, there there we go. That's how we get back in bed. Is this an actual ending? Or... Yep, there we go. Some days, you just don't feel like it. The day Palov stayed in bed, the Kingdom GD GDP went up by 200%. The Dark Lord retired out of boredom, and the cure for all diseases was found. Well done, Palov. <laughs> but yeah, I don't think that lava is just background. Two days later. Okay, that was a good nap. How long are you asleep, Palov? Never mind, it's time to get up and find some adventure. Nope, I gotta go back for the sword again. Son of a butt! be really nice if that sword would actually, like, stay there. Ugh. Okay. Let's take the sword of legend. <laughs> it looked like a complete ragamuffin. Let's, let's try and make it as far as we can as legitimately as possible. Which... Oh yeah, that is a bombable spot probably right there. Let's see. We're going to try and make it as far as we can. And I was going to say without getting distracted, but no, I'm going to get distracted by something. Ow. Hmm. In there. Looks like there might be something up here, though. I don't think I can make that. Bo
What was that one? Paula <laughs> slash put Boulder in the hospital in agonizing pain. Her family spent days around her in bed, praying for her recovery. After defeating thousands of scissors, she'd never have expected to be defeated by a sword. <laughs> I... God damn... I'm never gonna make progress in this game. I'm just gonna keep... I'm just gonna... Uh, no one looked at Paula the same after what he did to that poor rock. Boulder was back at her job, but Paula would have to make amends with her. Oh, um, there's a jump point there. Uh, I think I gotta do this without anything. Cause yeah, I, I've gotta, I gotta be completely un unbogged down. Oh. Oh. Ender's Secret Passage. Real end of Secret Passage. Damn dirty lion, you know it. Perfect. Okay. There we go. I knew there had to be something up here. It was just too suspicious otherwise. Okay, so we've got a couple of hints around here. You found a hint. Let's see, I think I need my sword for that one. So that's a no-go. Power without limits is sealed at the top of this temple. Away from the Dark Lord's reach. There's also a switch at the bottom. That switch first. Well, this has been a series of terrible misadventures. Resting place. One Gilgado rests here. He'd be remembered for a QA and additional code. There's no rest for the damned. Okay. Oh, that's the developer I killed. Probably. Nothing I can interact with. The fall into multiple rocks was painful. But Palov was okay, and ready to get back into the adventure. Wait, no, he wasn't. Rock and roll. Vengeance! Wait, that was number eight? Fair enough. Okay, the Elder found Palov's dead body and put it together with a spell. Palov was a zombie now, with an insati insatiable hunger for adventure. <laughs> uh, wow, we've been through some things. Okay, so I guess let's go up the temple this time? It, to some degree, fast travel would really help in this game, but that's that's okay. Okay, so we're no longer Palov, we're... We're Brain Love. There we go. We... Now we went... Now we we want to go this way again. Because I don't know what's over here. Did I just not get that hint? Huh. Okay. I'm curious if being a zombie makes much of a difference. Well, 
one way or another, let's go off. It'd be interesting if I could zombie hug people. Oh, I think I know where this is. I bet I need the chicken to traverse that. Well, Temple of Time has... You got the Whistle of Time. Unsatisfied with his destiny, Brainlove used the whistle and went back in time. Oh. Dark Fortress. Only dark minions and burger delivery allowed. This is confusing. Oh, we're back here again. Okay, well, I'm gonna take the elevator all the way up and we're gonna try and skip that gap in the center. Because I knew there, I know there's stuff there. Might be screwed here. Okay, does this send me back? Because we we've done that before. And this time I don't get that extra life. Okay, so we've already seen that one. Yeah, so I need the I need the sword and the shovel. And maybe the hook shot. Let's try the sword of, and shovel again and go until we find something that's... Something that we can do. I, I don't know. I, I'd i say I'm lost, but I have a billion things and a billion places that I can go to. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think I need the I don't know I don't need the bombs. I might need the bombs. I haven't actually ah, every time. Let's try going up maybe. So it should be light enough to go up this way. Let, let's go past the the item pedestal maybe. Yeah, there's so many options. I'm I'm actually at a bit of a loss. Uh, have I been this way before? No, whatever this is, this is, this is different. Okay. I didn't mean to go all the way up here. Hi, I'm Miguel, one of the creators of this world. I'm collecting some strawberries here. Well, I could murder him, but we should save him for a hug. Nothing there. Acro Mountain soft ground. Don't know. All right. Well, whatever. I'm just going to go this way. Wait. You're right. Dig. There was soft ground back there. Let's hope I can get back. I can! Well, ahoy! You found, you found treasure. Well, not exactly. 
This chest contains the Dark Lord's pension funds. You may not be able to physically defeat him. But you've crushed his retirement plans. 